More on canine osteoarthritis now. And the disease is a growing problem here in the UK, with reports suggesting more than one million dogs are affected each year. Current treatment commonly involves medication, but stem cell technology offers a drug-free alternative. Shuli Ghosh went to Vet Cell Therapeutics in Hong Kong to see clinical trials their vets hope could offer a more effective treatment for dogs with the condition. This is Roxy, a nine-year-old Swiss mountain dog suffering osteoarthritis in both hips. She finds it hard to walk and she's often in pain. All right, Roxy. Come on, that's okay, let's go. She's one of 24 dogs taking part in a clinical trial in Hong Kong to see if stem cell therapy can make a difference. In the US, researchers at Vet Cell Therapeutics have focused on autologous stem cells. Here in Asia, they're looking at allogenic stem cells. Roxy's movement and gait are analysed by a computerised walkway to see how she distributes her weight. Great walking. This exercise will be repeated three times over 90 days to see if there's any change. If she's given the medication and it works, she's going to have a better quality of life. Um, it should help her hips uh, and that's what we're hoping for. One, two, three. Heavily sedated and under strict clinical trial protocols, Roxy is injected directly into each hip joint. It won't be known until the trial is over whether this is the treatment or a placebo. Okay, that's out. But the vet overseeing the trial is confident the results will be good and says stem cell therapy could prove invaluable to the industry. It is unproven how well it's going to work, but do I believe that it is going to greatly improve the patient care that we can provide? Yes, I do. Osteoarthritis is where the research has started, but there are a range of other indications that could be investigated in the future. Currently, treatments for osteoarthritis in dogs involve invasive surgery or pain management. But with stem cell therapy, the lost cartilage in their joints could actually be replaced. Vet Cell Therapeutics Asia is one of the first companies in the world to conduct this kind of research into regenerative medicine, designed specially for pets. It says allergenic stem cells have been proven safe and effective in treatments for humans. Now it wants to develop similarly advanced techniques for animals. Now with the injection, what we hope is number one, cut down on all the inflammation so that the pain is less. Number two, try to grow back some, if not all, of the cartilage covering the bone. I believe that not enough emphasis has been put on regenerative medicine, which, in my view, could be a way for the future in the next 10 to 15 years. Local vet Siobhan Galway says any improvement on current treatments available for osteoarthritis should be welcomed by the industry. I think we all know the limitations that we have at the moment and therefore I think everybody would be open to any new options that we have because it's such a huge part of our work to try to help these animals and to try to reduce their pain levels. The trial is due to finish in September and if the results are as positive as expected, it could mean a better quality of life for dogs like Roxy.